The calm after the storm. It's taken a beating, but today Ventnor's Shore Hill, also known as the Cascade, is still standing. In case you missed it, here's what happened yesterday. As over three centimetres of rain fell on the town, torrents of water made their way through and out of the overwhelmed drainage system. High pressure water flows surged through the road, with water from an existing spring which runs under the road flowing at a much increased rate. So much so that the road surface was ripped from the ground, with the cracks sparking fears for the potential of a landslip. Today, though, the scene is much calmer. The waters have receded and the road is reopened under temporary traffic lights. Assessments have been made by engineers that the road is safe to use, but only in one direction at a time. An Island Road spokesperson said the damage was caused by the local drainage infrastructure becoming overwhelmed. Following initial repairs, the road's been reopened under temporary traffic lights. Further closures may be required in the coming days to allow further work and investigations to be carried out. We continue to work with our partners at Southern Water and the Isle of Wight Council. The Council and Island Roads are liaising with other agencies to ensure that arrangements are in place should the repairs become more protracted or the situation deteriorates. It's not yet known how extensive the repairs will be or if any further damage has occurred to the land beneath the road surface. For businesses, tourists and islanders though, the news of closures will come as a bitter sting following a year of hardship.